very special edition of Soul School tonight on Soul School. Really, really quick, a review of Cameo, who just actually just left here. They left the uh, northern part of California, which was uh, Elk Grove, Sacramento area. Then they came down the next day, which was um, that Sunday, and they actually performed in Oakland at the uh, at the Redwoods Theater and uh, kind of like up in the uh, hill area of uh, Oakland and uh, magnificent shows, both of them. But um, more important, Cameo is, um, let me say this, something about the music, the way Funkadelic used to would just say in the old Knee Deep record, um, something about the music, but the funk, I don't care who comes through, Bootsy just came through and just wore it out right before that the bar caves wore it out the original lakeside wore it out for a couple of shows and um I, you know the ohio players are very consistent and uh they play without a lot of gadgets and stuff like that can function is very um consistent and you know one thing about it you're always a prisoner of your era, but one thing about me is I try to be really, really analytical and objective when I'm doing this kind of stuff, and I just gotta call it like it is. P-Funk and all the other groups, all of those groups are better than anything that's going on now, and I guess that's why that music is the test of times. It hasn't stood the test of times. It is the test of times, and um, I have an exclusive interview with the one and only Aaron Mills of Cameo, a really, really funky bass player. You may know him from doing a lot of work, of course, with Cameo, but Gwen Stefani as well as Outkast and just different people like that. And so without wasting any time, and um, I've decided, I taped the show, I taped the show out in Sacramento, but really for you to get the most of what I'm talking about, I'm going to show you Soundcheck because Cameo Soundcheck was just so relaxed and it wasn't the emphasis of putting on the show it was just actually just playing just playing and uh the vibe of the sound check you know they were not not in costume or nothing like that they were so relaxed no pressure and uh you could really truly see what kind of professionals and just how bad these cats are just sitting up and just grooving at practice so let's get to that and um like I said, stay tuned. Stay tuned for the um, Aaron Mills interview. That's going to be something really, really special. Really, really quick. Let's get to it. And uh, I'll see you all.
stage you got a different kind of uh it's funny how the funk will always have different type of funk lanes or whatever man it's like clinton them are off from one planet y'all definitely all from another planet right right ewf is all from another planet but most people when they start getting into the funky kind of vocals you know larry Dodson, michael cooper or mm -hmm. whoever it may be mm -hmm. you're a lot of sugarfoot influence but you got your own little funky kind of little twang, and I didn't notice it until I actually heard <laughs> Independent when you you right on time. You know, well, it's you just know, different. Yeah, it's uh, actually that's old North Carolina country talk. You know, just you're right on time. You know, it's a it's a line that's in the song. It's about uh, this female. I was at home playing my bass, and uh, I've been waiting on her to come. And you never tell a lady like you're late, at least I don't, you know, I just, says, she says, well, baby, baby, am I late? Baby, baby, am I late? And I says, no, you're right on time. <laughs> 